All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, add items to an array with the push method and the unshift method. All right. So an array's length, like the data types it can contain, is not fixed. Arrays can be defined with a length of any number of elements, and elements can be added or removed over time. In other words, arrays are mutable or changeable. How about that? So in this challenge, we're going to look at two methods with which we can programmatically modify an array. The array.push method and the array.unshift method. So both methods take one or more elements as parameters and add those elements to the array the method is being called on, right? So the push method adds elements to the end of the array and the unshift method, pardon me, method adds elements to the beginning. We already knew all this stuff, but let's keep going anyway. Refresher, refresher, consider the following. We're gonna let 23 equal Roman numeral 23 and let Roman numerals be an array with Roman numeral 21, Roman numeral 22, in it already, all right? So if we say Roman numerals dot unshift 19 and 20 in Roman numerals, Roman numerals would now have the value of 19, 20, 21, and 22 all in Roman numerals. And then if we say Roman numerals dot push 23, Roman numerals is now gonna have the value of 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 because we added this one to the end of it. So notice that we can pass, we can also pass variables which allow us even greater flexibility in dynamically modifying our array's data. Yes, that's what this is all about, all right? Uh, because this is this, which equals this, right? Just to let you know. So we have defined a function, mixed numbers, which we are passing an array as an argument. Uh, we're gonna modify the function by using the push method and the unshift method to add one, two, three to the front of the array and seven, eight, nine to the back of the array uh, so that the returned array contains a representations, contains representations of the numbers one through nine in order. All right, so first we're gonna do a push and then an unshift or an unshift first and then the push, whatever. So let's do an r.unshift and right here we're gonna put uh, this right here, we're not gonna, let's just take this, why not? That's a little too many pushing, that's a little too much pushing the shift key, right? Uh, so all we need is this comma separated values just like up here, all right? So let's add the uh, semicolon just to just for good practice. And let's say r dot push, and we'll push this stuff in there, the seven, eight, and nine, all right? Just like that. And let's add the semicolon like that. How about that? All right. And we see from this console.log mix numbers uh, four, five, and six. It adds these three to the front of that and these three to the back of it, just like that. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to remove items from an array with pop and shift methods. And we'll see you next time.